Hi, I'm Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota. Behind me I have a 2022 GR86. And we're going to give it the beans and see how fast we can get up to 70 miles an hour. I have a little course I do and let's do a quick little walk around, take a look at it, and then we'll take off. Be right back. So this vehicle is a collaboration vehicle with Subaru, so it's got a Subaru Boxer engine in it. Uh, I believe Toyota's designed the uh, body and then it's got Subaru Electronics. And, but the, uh, in collaboration, they, they built these vehicles together. In Subaru world, it's called a BRZ, which Toyota's called a GR86. They are tuned differently, but Without each other, this vehicle wouldn't exist. A low production, low volume vehicle. It's not going to be a profit center. So they're doing it for the enthusiast. And the reason why they collaborate like they've done with the Supra and with BMW is because it's not going to sell a lot of vehicles and they're not going to put $3 billion in R&D for a low production, low volume niche vehicle. So if you all wondering why there's collaborations, that's the reason why it's done. Um, it's got a lot of different design features than the old model, a little more sportier looking, a little more Subaru, or not Subaru, but it is a Subaru, but as far as more Supra looking than the, than the outgoing generation, a little more line, especially that uh, larger rear spoiler. This is the larger one you get with the uh, premium edition on here. And um, the, the, the uh, base model gets a smaller sp rear spoiler. Uh, both are powered the same. Uh, this is the automatic version of the vehicle, unfortunately. Um, black rims look real good, and they do have a uh, more of a track performance tire that they put on the uh, on the premium model versus the uh, basic model. You have a, a nice felt uh, leather type synthetic interior. This is smart key, so it's proximity and push start. But just giving you a look in here real quick. I got some of my camera equipment in there. Only about 3,200 miles on this. Let's give it a, a once more walk around so you can just take a look at it. Um, and then we're going to give it the beans. We're going to see what we could get up to. 70 miles an hour. I got this little section of highway, um, kind of a rolling start. Let's see what this could do. It's got uh, sequential shifting plus um, full automatic. And let's see if we can give it some power. See. Uh, how fast it gets up to 70 miles an hour on a rolling start there. Um, again, you, Toyota's offering much more powerful vehicles with the Supra, now has a manual option. And then shortly here this year, we're gonna have that GR Corolla hatch with 300 horsepower, three cylinders, 300 horsepower, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead, let's get in her. Let's take her down the uh, highway and see how fast we get her up to 70 miles an hour. I'll be right back. All right, so we're out on the road. So just give it a little bit of a feel right now. Um, again, you have like this uh, transmission on here and yeah, anyway, so we get it on the road right now. So, again, it's not a, uh, not a race car by any means, and, uh, um, but for what it is, it's a, you know, you can get into this thing under 30,000, it's a nice little sports car, and, uh, and giving you some features, and, um, a little bit of performance, and, and I'm sure the, uh, tuner market will get a hold of this and, and you'll be able to get a lot more out of it and um, get some uh, be able to do uh, do some stuff to this vehicle um, 
but uh, as far as being an affordable vehicle this is what this is for the money because i know the uh, corolla hatch uh, gr corolla hatch is probably going to come in um in the uh like mid 30s into the like probably mid 40s even on the top end with the these uh 200 limited edition ones if you could ever even get a hold of one of those and i doubt any store ever gets one of those is going to sell it to anyone at msrp so um but anyways you get the core on that corolla hatch and then later the uh um the circuit edition but they're going to do that circuit of Maurizio 200 limited edition for um, this model year or this 2023 model year and then 24 should be uh the new uh the circuit edition for this full launch of that vehicle all right so we're getting to the uh, spot where we'll do the test so the big giant fat pole on the right side is like my marker for being at 70 miles an hour or anything further than that it's slow so i'm gonna do an, uh, an automatic and then we'll do it in in the paddle shifters so let's give it a go all right foot all the way down 70 right there right at the pole okay so we're going ahead and turn it around and uh try it again in in sequential shifting and see if i can get it uh get it a little bit faster than that so that's actually pretty quick so um gosh i've had some i'm trying to remember what i've had that's been up there with that speed um i think the tundra with the but the, you know you're talking 386 horsepower 479 foot pounds to do what this little guy just did there so so now you're keeping up with what this one's got what 220 or something like that so you got quite a bit of um quite a bit of uh quite a bit of power there so anyways let's uh go ahead and turn her around and try it again all right we're back for round two we're gonna do sequential shifting through the paddle shifters let's give these people some room and uh i say this is slightly slower than the tundra definitely slower than the camry v6 i've done before all right we're going to turn the corner i would say I may have missed the gears there. I think it's faster. I don't, uh, I got to probably could have ran the, ran the gear a little harder than that. So, um, again, this is electronic, so it's not going to let you over rev it. Um, but I think I could have got a, a mile or a couple miles an hour faster with that, with the paddle shifters there. I was feeling like I was going to run up on that car. So I would say yes, it felt like it was a little more responsive off the get-go with the sequential shifting versus um, versus the uh, going through the uh, the regular man or automatic transmission. Doing that sequential shifting was a little better. So, anyways, yeah, well, we're gonna give this about the same seven rolling start to 70 miles an hour is say the the tundra is um would be where i'd put this thing as similar um probably has a similar zero to 60 with that 370 uh that's 386 horsepower and 479 foot pounds so all that power of course i know it's all geared differently and everything and it weighs a lot more but all that power gets you about the same speed and acceleration as this vehicle here and for quite a bit less money because uh, kind of a base tundra at its lowest price is kind of somewhere in the 40s so anyways well thank you for watching we'll see you next time